Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see multi-robot execution. That is, execute the same process at the same time using multiple robots. This might be useful when your transaction is a very huge number of amount and you have to process in a very less amount of time. So in, the, in that case, this will be very useful. Let's move on to the UiPath Studio. Yeah, so I have used here RE framework. I have used orchestrator queue. I have used orchestrator asset here. So in this process, basically we have used UI demo application uh, that application and we have basically process the data so this is a sample application that already provided by the uh, UI path so the same application that we are using here so basically we are logging into it and we are processing the transaction one by one here so let me close this and this is our transaction data. Yeah. So this is our transaction data. Uh, this is somewhat 96 record, but we will keep little less. We will keep as keep it 30. Yeah, and let me remove this remaining one. Yeah. So, uh so what we will do, we will directly upload the CSV file into the queue. Okay. So let me close this. I have saved this here. Let me save. Yeah. So I have saved this file. We have used UI demo application. Yeah. So we have used RE framework here. In RE framework, in initialization part, that we have defined to the open the application uh, in the init initial init all application XAML. Here you can able to see we have used get app credentials and then log into your IDMO application. So this is the workflow that we have created for the login application yeah. <coughs> and uh, another uh, XAML that we have created and that we have used in the process transaction which is so which is this one yeah, so under process transaction, we have basically processed the transaction. We, here we have fetched the data from the queue and we have insert into the respective fields into the UI demo applications. Yeah, so only these things we have used here, rest RE framework, we have kept it, kept it, kept it as it is. Uh, I will, I have not explained here RE framework, or you might be aware about it. Okay, so here we have used RE framework, we have used Q and we have used orchestra asset. Now move, move on to the asset, move on to the orchestrator. So uh, let me first show you orchestrator Q. Here UI demo. Yeah. So this is the uh, orchestrator queue. Right now there is no data in these queues. Uh, so I will basically upload the item in this queue using upload item and whatever CSV file that we have used 
so we use that csv file to upload it to it Yeah, here we have kept it 30 records. So here it is showing 30 records found. Let me refresh. It will take little time to show this. Yeah. So you can able to see remaining records is 30. Yeah. And in a set that we have basically created UI UI demo credentials and we have provided the uh, user ID password in the orchestra to which we'll be using into the initialization section. And uh, we have already uploaded the process, basically deployed the process that you can able to see if I able to do, do, do this. Then version 1.0.7, it's already there. So we have already deployed the process into the orchestrator and we have already created the process into the orchestrator that you can see multi multi vote yeah one dot or dot seven yeah now go to the one now we are moving to the jobs and we will trigger the jobs So we'll see multi boat <coughs> and we will use dev boat one and dev boat two. So we will use these two boats to trigger the request. So basically to execute our process. Yeah. So I have start the process and you can able to see dev boat two and dev boat one started. Yeah. So let me just go to the queue in under the monitor sections and here we can able to see UI demo and we have yes here 30 records already in the queue and out of 32 is processed so which means one boat is process one record so that's why two it is showing two in, in, in progress because we have used two boats to execute it yeah and it is showing successful yeah so what basically happen in multi boat uh, execution when we upload data in the queue in the at the first time it is showing as an new but as and when uh, once it is in progress then it is showing as in progress just me let me show you this yeah. so we will go to the view transactions I'm really sorry, this is a little bit slow. Okay, yeah. So under view transactions. Yeah. So uh, you can able to see all the records are in progress, but the two records are in, uh, sorry, all the records in new status, and these two records are in progress, which is, which is actually in process yeah so basically what happened first uh, in the multiple execution so robot will check first that it is new then it will picked up for for this uh, execution and it will change the change the status as in progress once the in record process successfully it will mark as successful as you can show see here and here you can see the robot which robot execute this one we have used two robots that both dev robot one and dev robot two so yes, so this transaction has been successfully executed by Devbot one and another transaction is successfully executed by Devbot two. So in this way, basically uh, execution is happening. We will wait a certain time to finish this uh, records already. Let me just go to the queue monitoring section. And we will see a uh, few records are remaining, nine records are remaining. 
we have used 30 records and here here it is showing in a minute so within a minute basically it will complete it and you can see how much time it is taking to the process so it is showing 14.62 second to process the records <coughs> yeah so six six records is remaining six records are remaining so we'll just wait four records are remaining so basically you can able to see it is executed in a you know at a time it will process two records simultaneously with the help of two different robots so this is the benefit basically to the multiport execution it will process the transactions data in a little faster manner based on our need we can basically use it and we can develop our process if we have a huge amount of records to processes then we can definitely use multibot account multibot uh, executions yeah uh, yes so execution has been done now let me just show you the queue we'll just download the report view transactions and we'll just we have downloaded the records let me just go to the download folder and we have download this ui demo queue item dot csv yeah and you can able to see here this is the complete record that complete report from that we have downloaded from the queue and you can able to see the first transaction is executed by first board the second transaction is executed by second board so in this way uh, execution has been done and 15 transaction has been executed by the dev got one and 15 transaction executed by dev got two yeah, so in this way basically we can uh, uh, use our, our so basically it is depend on the process in our process in the depends on our nature of the process nature of the use cases if there is a huge amount of data that we need to uh, process and we need to execute complete the process uh, a process that in a very less amount of time then we can use a multi vote execution i hope you got this concept how we can use this multi uh, how basically we can uh, basically trigger the multi execution from the orchestrator yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching please subscribe